what's up everybody how you doing welcome back to shop 31 good morning i just woke up uh wanted to get in here and make a video for y'all uh there's a lot of people didn't realize what i was doing with that juice world video so a swing and a miss for the punk rock dad it is what it is man people think they take things too seriously sometimes i do that but more often than not i'm just joshing um so I'm trying to just whatever you know i don't know man people are weird it's funny so we got Lil lotus who i do like quite a bit um little aaron is guest vocals or whatever in the song doing you know it's Lil lotus and Lil aaron girl next door I think, is this from his album that one he did recently uh it is it is from that album uh i like that record i might go buy this again uh, again i almost bought it i need to go i need to go pick it up like an actual physical copy on vinyl um i really like this record a lot so i've only listened to it all the way through two maybe three times because i did that reaction i don't know if y'all remember that i did a live stream i listened to the whole thing um anyways whatever let's check this song out so clearly i've heard this song before okay um but i just wanted to i don't know man i wanted to bring something that was a little positive a little happy to the channel so let's just give me a second let me get the song set up and we'll, we'll do this okay subscribe to the channel Hit that bell, man. We're almost at 20K. It's ridiculous. And thank you. Okay, so Lil Lowe's is on Epitaph Records now. So they're notorious for blocking my videos. So this is going to be probably a strange looking. I'm going to try something a little different with this video. and We'll see how it works. It may end up just being blurred, but bear with me. I'm working on things. So let's uh, give it a try. Tell me why I think so much. Yeah, I really thought I was fixing to hear it. Fell in love with an emo girl. About it, but don't even matter at all. Tell me why you come right back around, but can't even answer my calls. Come on, Lotus, shave the mustache, bro. Although, technically, I have a mustache too. So never mind. Because I'm definitely not any better looking than Little Lotus. Probably not as good looking as Little Lotus, I guess. Now that I think about it, I'm old. <laughs> dude it just kind of hit me in the face like watch your mouth boy watch your mouth watch your mouth oh man what are the little lotus fans called lotus petals <laughs> what it's too early for me to be doing this man am i just a safe bet is it safe to say i'm wasting Hell yeah. my time i love you and i hate it i need something just to get you on my mind with the girl next door yeah no this song came out way before emo girl did but this is so crazy it makes me wonder about mgk a little bit like wow this is very similar to me although i haven't listened to emo girl but like the one time for the or the few times for the album review so i can't really recall it i kind of want to do like a side-by-side -side comparison this is clearly a better song by the way so hard, I almost went through the floor. Gave you my heart, and now you tell me you're bored. I did like Willow on that song, though. Like, it made sense. With the girl next door. Yo, this is exactly what I would have listened to without telling anybody in high school because I thought I was real punk rock and I wanted to have my mohawk and stuff. But I would have been definitely listening to this crying about some girl dump me. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, no, but I was going to say the Willow part of Emo Girl made so much sense because she's young and it makes sense that she might fall in love with an emo girl. So I, I, I wish they could get her on the remix of this. That would probably be, A, it would be hilarious, but B, I think it would make a lot of sense because this has the same feel to it i don't know i'm just thinking man don't get too upset okay some y'all are real uptight i don't really get it man loosen up dude go watch some bob ross or something it'll make you chill i used to think that you were perfect now i know the truth is you're just like the other girls why do i always do this i gave you my heart and now i'm watching you appear I'm like hardlined to the internet. 
I don't know what's going on there. I'm, we're getting fiber optic internet soon, so this should be fixed. I don't know what's going on. So this video looks crazy. My sincerest of apologies. My wife is making me a hat like little Aaron's hat, that green bucket hat. I think she's going to make me more of like a beanie, but she's making me one like that. It's black with a, a triangle, 31 logo, you know. Just like the other girls, why do I always do this? I gave you my heart and now Oh my I'm goodness. Cheap. She does have blonde eyebrows. Why? It looks so weird. I knew there was something off about her. She's so pretty. Why would, I don't know, whatever. Maybe it's the style. Dude. I'm 40, so I mean, I'm very far removed from anything that's cool. Look at this. Is that a Limp Biscuit flag? Let's go. Is it really? It is. I was kidding, bro. What? Let's go. Why does he look like he drinks mad beer? He looks like a dad. Little Aaron is actually somebody's uncle. Probably is somebody's uncle. He might have a sister with a kid. I don't know. Or a brother with a daughter or something. I don't fucking know. Yo, what are we talking about? This is not what I thought this video was going to be like. <laughs> making me dizzy, messing with my head. All right, all right, so hold on. No matter how many times you keep making me dizzy, messing with my head. I'm still reminiscing on words that you said. If you tell me you miss me, then leave me on red. If you lean in to kiss me, then leave me for dead. Yeah, I can't. With the comments, that ain't it, bro, with them blonde eyebrows. Otherwise, she's a very attractive young lady. I don't know what she... I, is that the style now? Like dark hair and blonde eyebrows? That shit looks so weird. Like it looks like you don't have eyebrows is really what I'm getting at here. And if you had like blonde hair and brown eyebrows, that's pretty common. Oh, uh, is that what she's doing? Maybe. I don't I don't really know, man. Are they gonna what is happening? You couldn't you don't you don't think he felt that man's whiskers? Uncle Aaron got whiskers, bro. Lotus. I like your style, buddy. Kissing boys. It's okay. I'll kiss little Aaron. I don't give a shit. What does it matter for a music video? I don't care. My man got a full goatee. He like, what? That was a dude? Uh, oh! What? Gotta kiss the homies, right? What? <laughs> 2022 is fucking wild. Let's go. Do whatever you want. Wow, they went in. <laughs> Wait, what am I watching? This is amazing. This is the best video of all time. Yo, I got this. Is all <laughs> he, he just realized he likes to feel the whiskers on his face. Every time I think about, so when I was a little kid, my dad was never around, right? I know I'm not special. Most kids' dads weren't around, I guess. But I have this like really vivid memory and I do this to my kids all the time. Whenever I shave my beard kind of short, like real, like let, let's say I shave off the beard and leave the goatee or something, or just like the chin beard part. And I got like, you know, real short, short whiskers on my face. I like rub my face on my kids' faces. Because I had this like really vivid memory of like being a little kid and giving my dad hugs and stuff and feeling his whiskers on the side of my face. And it used to drive me nuts because it felt like sandpaper. But now it's something that like really is means a lot to me. And that's exactly what I thought when he was kissing little Aaron. I was like, bro, whiskers. This video is amazing. Having the best time. We're living our best life today, people. Yo, what? My man in a full dress. Ah, let's go. What are we doing? <laughs> you fucked it up, bro. You made a mistake. Yo, 
That was amazing. The best part was that homegirl was not into it. She was like, why did I do this for? It's like, I don't know, bro, but you definitely did it. You did it to yourself, girl. It's them blonde eyebrows. You didn't do that. They probably, one of them dudes will still be banging it out. Now they're just going to go home and hump. Don't hate. It is what it is, bro. That was awesome. That was amazing. One man had a full beard, and he's like, mm, mm, I kind of like this. <laughs> Lil Lois might be my favorite artist now. Wait, is he gay? I mean, I don't care, but I'm just asking. For some reason, I thought he was straight. Dude, I don't know why it matters, so never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, dude, that was awesome. That song's good. It's like a better, like more realistic, legitimate version of Emo Girl. Emo Girl is really catchy. I never said it wasn't. It's not a good song, though. Uh, but this has people that are of age doing the things that are they're supposed to be doing, and, and that's that makes a lot of difference to me. Uh, never been a big little Aaron fan. Not a hater, either. I just don't know a lot about him. I might have to go do a, a deep dive. Does he do music like this regularly? It's about time for me to go have my juice. My juice. Primal Greens. Stuff makes me feel immediately better. I, I'm really enjoying taking it. Anyways, look, I appreciate your time, everybody. I hope you're having a good day today. Uh, all the little Juice World fans out there, I almost said all the little people, I almost said all the little Juice World fans out there. All the uh, Juice World, I did say it. I don't know why I said almost. Um, all the Juice World fans out there, I love you. Calm down. Even if you hate remixes, I still love you. I don't care. I'm going to listen to remixes and you don't have to. We can still be friends. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here, man. Y'all have a good day. And, uh, yeah, dude, that was wild. That was amazing. Favorite video of the year so far. All right. Peace.